All right, guys, we're finally here. We're going to review right now the full version, everything unlocked, set smart security premium. We've been uh, looking at the other ones and the other versions. And every time we try to do something, it would it would make us buy it. But this is the big boy here. We do have a 31-day trial. Now, if you want to get a 31-day trial as well, go to sset.com. Uh, click on the top where it says download. Click on get a free 30-day trial. And here you can go ahead and get it. Just click here where it says try for free for the premium. And you can also try the advanced security and the essential security. We already reviewed advanced and essential. Today, we're going to take a look at that premium one. Now, when you get a set, it will give you also a home set.com browser uh, interface here where you can go ahead and take a look at what you got going from here you can control your parental control your anti-theft and your password manager which is pretty cool now this is what the software looks like here once you have it installed and if you're using the free trial just ignore this it's not really a security alert it's just telling you hey you haven't bought it yet <laughs> all right uh, to update it you click here on update and it should do it on its own right away. A computer scan, it looks the same, guys, as... Um, it literally looks the same as Essential and Advanced Security, really. It's going to be weird to see how we can... Uh, um, see the difference. I guess the difference is everything is unlocked. So from here, you can do a, a scan on your computer. Just click scan your computer. It does take a long time, guys. Um, what's cool is here on the bottom you could what action do you want it to do once it's done you could most people say shut down and it's gonna make you do an L uh, I don't know if you could see that on my screen but it's asking it's gonna ask you for permission to do that all right you could do advanced scans you can go do a custom one and a removable media scan but you got to have something plugged in for it to see it here all right now let's look at the tools so this is where we're really gonna start to see all the features on here it has the same features as the other, uh, as Essential and uh, what was the other one? Um, Advanced Security. It looks the same, really, guys. Um, we can look at log files. We can look at running processes and do something about them. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, you can look at your security report. You can look at, I'm not going to click on network connections because I don't want to share my IP address. But you can look at everything that's going on in the network by clicking there. You could use a system inspector. This is usually... Um, it's a little weird. Um, it takes a while to populate here. I think we got to click create. I'm just going to click test. And from here, you can go ahead and it's gener generating a report right now. Shouldn't take too long, guys. In the meantime, let's look at the other tools. We'll come back to this one because it's taking a while there. That's just getting uh, detailed information about the system there. Now you can do scheduling, and like I said before, the scheduler looks a little weird to me. It, it's kind of hard for a newbie. Um, this is going to look a little weird, but you can go ahead and click on the bottom where it says Add Task. Uh, we're just going to say uh, Weekly. If you wanted to week, do a weekly scan, that's what you can do. Put Weekly Scan, and... Uh, on-demand computer scan next and you could do it weekly and then you could select what time we could say it Monday at 12 a.m. every day hit next do the whole PC you want to do the whole thing click right there on this PC and finish and there we are now we have a task it's gonna do a weekly scan right there we really cool really cool tool but every antivirus program really has that anyway um, Got a system cleaner here. And what's crazy is you go to system cleaner, right? When I think about a system cleaner, I'm thinking about it cleaning um, uh, temp files, cache files, basically the stuff you don't really need. But instead, it's it's more focusing on system appearance, system settings, and Windows system restore, which is weird. And that's one of the downfalls of a set. It does not have a real system cleaner. It's more like a sys uh a Windows system cleaner, if that makes sense. All right, uh, we got a network inspector, but I'm not going to click on that because I don't want my network to come up 
and you can look at your quarantine files here and that's it really you guys wow you can go to setup and change your computer protection internet protection network and look there's more security tools here we can enable anti-theft now this works on laptops the best guys and you can uh, remote uh, ugh, manage it remotely here using your email uh, let's go back to setup security tools so anti-theft is on uh, you could turn on secure data let's see what this does protects private and confidential files I don't know exactly how it does that oh it looks like it encrypts everything can encrypt files on your removable drive so you can you can actually encrypt your um, removable drive or create a virtual drive that's a little more on the techie side guys like I said it set seems like it's more for the techie guys not for the beginners if you're a beginner I recommend um, you go with something different because this is just gonna go right over your head guys all right and that's it really um, let's take a look at parental control we got everything unlocked right now guys so we're using the uh, the big dog version of a set right now where we have everything so we're gonna take a look at everything here so the parental control is right here um, I'm gonna create add a child we're gonna put test let's just say it's a boy um, let's say he was born let's say 2019 sometime We're going to save it and uh, oh so what the heck you know what it's made more for phones so it, it only works on Android it looks like parental control for Android I thought it was parental control for the computer hmm but it's for his phone more if the kid has a phone actually uh, looks like hmm web blocking so here you can go ahead and but it looks like it's more for phones guys no connected device so it's gonna be more for phones but hey this is a really cool feature if you could do it for their phone here you can go ahead and uh, block certain things nowadays art actually encompasses uh, some nudity <laughs> uh, I would restrict um, I'm trying to see here health health nowadays includes uh, I'm not even gonna go there I'm not even gonna, I, don't, I don't know what my audience is I'm not even gonna go there <laughs> but here's sex education um, a lot of stuff here so they even have recommended settings like let's say this kid is under 12 the kid that our test kid in here so we could do that if he's 18 plus <laughs> they could watch 18 plus <laughs> the only thing it blocks is malicious and criminal activities for an 18 plus year old that's funny all right well there's that guys um, let's take a look at the other feature my internet's so slow right now sorry about that guys come on we're trying to go home Go home. All right, let's look at the anti theft. Uh, so, you add a new device. You got to download and install internet security for Android devices. So, like I'm saying, it looks like it works for a laptop too, though. I don't have a laptop, I'm using a desktop right now. Um, so, you got to create that Phantom account and you go from there. So, Basically, the Phantom account is just a fake account. So if a, th a thief steals your laptop and logs into the Phantom account, uh, he'll get caught that way. And you can go into the manual. There's a read full how-to guide. You can always go there, guys. I'm not going to get into it this video. We're just quickly looking through all the features here. Let's go back home. And then we have our password manager. Uh, there is no license available for open license manager. Uh, what? They're going to make you buy it? Oh, man, I can't add a trial license. Let's see. Windows, continue. 
So you're gonna have to put your email here and then you you can download it guys. But a set does have, it looks like it does have password manager. So we got password manager, anti-theft, parental control, um, computer scanner, and that's about it guys. And how much are they charging for this? Let's find out. Let's find out how much it is. If you were gonna go premium, <laughs> sixty dollars for one year oh my god guys you're really not getting much features here um you don't even have a vpn on this thing nowadays you need a vpn so sixty dollars for one year i would say nope not gonna do it i'm sorry guys but i'm gonna give a set three out of five stars maybe and that's only because they score really good and pc magazine scored them really good for uh I think it was like a 9 out of 10 for, or an 8.5 out of 10. Don't quote me on that, but it's pretty high for blocking. Um, but like I said, if you're going to pay for something, there's other antiviruses out there. We have reviewed them before that are a lot better, guys. You get more for, more bang for your buck. But that's it, guys. We're done with a set. Um, that was the premium edition, and it really did not look any different to advanced security. Really, it didn't. Um, we, uh, the only difference is the encryption, password manager on the premium, and protection against never-before-seen threats. Hmm. Okay. But that's about it, guys. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next review video.